Fantasy Radio live from Stockholm and we are here now with a band from Georgia, uh, Nika Kocharov and young Georgian Lolitas. Hey guys! Hello! Hello. Hello. Hi. First I have to ask you about the name because it's a bit of a tongue twister for some people I guess um, and before people even listen to your music some might wonder uh, yeah, about your name. So how did that come up? Okay, so the name is basically Young Georgian Lolitas. I don't know, well, the Eurasian people added my name somehow without me knowing it, but let's leave it to that. So the name was, we came up with this name about 15 years ago when we were just kids. So at that time, we would change our band name every other gig. So this particular gig, we came up with Young Georgian Lolitas, just a silly name. And this particular gig was really successful, so we had to stay stick with the name. If I knew I would be sitting here 20, uh, 15 years later with the same name. I mean, so. <laughs> yeah, but it's cool, it sounds good, yeah. <laughs> it's funny. So. Yeah, so tell us about how all this happened, because uh, yeah, once again, now I, I'm saying this for the third or the fourth time, you're not the typical Eurovision act. So saying this several times already in this contest, uh, we maybe there's some change in the competition over the years, because um, there are many acts which are not really typical anymore. So, so um, how did this happen for you? Because I, I read somewhere that you, your first reaction was a bit like, oot, we should go to Eurovision. So how, how much time did you take to definitely make the decision to say yes right away? Or? It was a couple of days. I mean, I received a phone call saying, like, do you want to do Eurovision? I said, are you kidding? <laughs> and then I went to the meeting. And at the meeting, they told me, you can do whatever you want. You can dress however you want. You can sing whatever you want. You can perform. I mean, you can do whatever. So I came to the guys, and at first we were like, ah, should we? Should we not? It's better to regret something you did or than something you didn't do. I mean, there's nothing to regret, but why not? It's really cool. It is. Go Eurovision. <laughs> <laughs> there were five songs in the national selection. And how did you actually choose these five songs? Because um, you know how important the performance is in the Eurovision. Eurovision is a lot about performing. And so I wonder if you, when you chose these five songs, did you already think, okay, these songs have to be for like three minutes and very important, everything must fit in these three, three minutes? So how did you select them? Well, the time wasn't a problem, to be honest. I mean, you can fit almost every song in three minutes. Like you can cut it. Yeah. I I mean, well, so, some acts tell us that they really had difficulty cutting down. To three no, 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 no. Okay. I mean, no, it's me. Like, if you ask me as a producer, no, I mean, it's like no brainer. Have like, a good evening. It's like that. But the winning song, this Midnight Gold, was like no brainer. I mean, it was obvious choice. Because, of course, there's many songs came in. It was a big option. But this particular song was. We can, well, you can't say that it's good for like it's like Eurovision fame song, but it was like we liked it. That we liked it. it. People liked it. People liked it. It was a bit. It was our kind of song, so we went with it. So it would have been your choice as well. Of course. Yes. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yes. Because I personally, I would have chosen another one, but <laughs> that's just my personal. Which, which one? I think it was the last one. It was a bit slow. We agree. I, yeah. uh, well, I like that's that the a lot. thing. A lot I of mean, have the same that, that song might be better. But it's really slow. I mean, it's like, oh, yeah, it's yeah, difficult. Yeah. To, that's difficult to, to yeah. decide. Yeah. I, I didn't even consider that song to be honest, mm -hmm. because yeah. I mean, I like that song the best. I mean, most of all, it's like my favorite song, that slow song. But. I didn't even consider it for Europe. He has been wearing a suit. So, uh, how was your way to Stockholm, basically? Because there was some time ago when the, the national uh, selection took place, and then yeah, the promotion starts or whatever happens. I don't know. Did you do any international promotion? What did you do in the last few weeks? No, no international promotions. We, we just we rehearsed, played. I mean, now it's usual. Nothing. And yeah, yeah, we had some gigs in Georgia, so. Oh. Did our thing. Let's speak about your performance because it's kind of interesting. Because I think uh, for a rock band, um, your performance is rather sophisticated. I think so. You obviously 
did a lot of thinking and discussing. Maybe that's at least the way it looks to me. Well, what I see now. I mean, you say as a, as if a rock band should be dumb. I mean, yeah, it's not about it. dumb. It's not about dumb. But I mean, a rock band is about rock music, and it's just uh, no, not in our days. I mean, there's no more rock pop. I mean, people mix genres all the time. I mean. I can't say my musical style, for example, if you even if you ask me. I mean, I try to mix all sorts of music. I mean, wh whatever I hear, I try to combine into my music. So yeah, but visually, yeah, we worked with our director Sasha. She's really cool, and we collaborated, tried to do some psychedelic things together. We had some references which we showed to her, and then we chose some parts, and yeah. Worked perfectly because we knew what, what, what we like and what we do, and it went quite easy. How does it work for you on stage so far? Because you, so far you had the first rehearsal, there will be more, uh, so um, is there still yeah, a lot of details that you have to change, or is everything perfect already? <laughs> Actually, people, people say, perfect. yeah, almost there. I mean, people say that we got really lucky because we. At, no, we, we got it at all, like we almost got it at the first try, first rehearsal, because they say that people struggle with getting what they want. Yeah, of course we had some remarks, but it will be fixed really easily. It was nothing really general, nothing some major, really yeah. small details. So yeah, on a stage, everything worked good, sound was good. So how do you how do you experience Eurovision uh, being in our life on site? And uh, okay, well, it's only a couple of days now. We had your first year. There will be another one. There will be the red carpet and uh, the big shows, of course. How do you feel about Eurovision uh, being here? We are excited. It feels good. Yeah. I don't know. Everything is kind of new to us, and the environment is really new. Country is new, so every day we find something new, and that's I think the best. Yeah, I honestly enjoy this experience. Yeah. So, how about you? Should we ask you guys to all the artists to do some singing for the listeners at the end of an interview? <coughs> Piece of your song. <laughs> Yeah, do you want me to sing my song? I mean, it's not something you sing a cappella. When I came to your smell on me, I reached around the bed and grabbed some cigarettes out of your bag. No, I want to help you with the app, maybe. Yeah. Oh, I'll see you later. You could do it on the other someone else did before the interview last year. It's such an app. Okay. Okay, guys, so thank you very much for this and good luck for the competition. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot.